put America's hands in all kind of wars. And you telling me a tactile man that ran from duty don't even know what his rule was. Carmella Harris, who don't know what race he is, gonna protect this country? The show you've been waiting for. If this is your first time tuning into the Miguel Lopez show, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share so we can continue giving you the best content. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if it's my accent, my skin tone, the music I listen to in Spanish, or what is it that say I'm a person of Hispanic heritage. I'm a Hispanic person. But I do have to tell you this. As an immigrant who came here legally, serving the United States Armed Forces, became a U.S. citizen, it baffles me that someone who came here from another country is so against illegal immigration. And yet, American-born citizens mostly on the democratic plantation, mostly on those sanctuary cities, mostly on those democratic run states, are so for immigration, so for illegal immigration, so welcoming. Like, I don't know how to make you people understand that. All you're doing is destroying your own self. You are destroying your city. You are destroying and wasting your resources on people who came here illegally and a vast majority of them are criminals and they just want to harm your city, destroy your city, destroy your way of life. I'm not saying every person that comes through the border is a criminal. Some do actually come for a better way of living, but there is a process. There are steps that you can take to come here legally. And I am still a firm believer that if you come here illegally and we catch you, you're going back home. We have to vet everyone that comes through the southern border. It has to be vetted. We cannot just leave borders open and let everyone come in. And it's amazing to see, like, New York City, Denver, Chicago, all those super sanctuary cities, all those super democratic cities, Baltimore, etc. how the communities are being destroyed. I am not happy because of what's happening. I'm not happy. I'm not happy that the community has been destroyed, but I guess this is what had to happen for the people in this city to wake up, for the citizens to wake up and rise up and realize that they need to step away from the democratic plantation. They need to step away and open up their eyes. They need to invest in their true value and know that just giving open arms to a lot of these criminals is destroying you. Internally, externally, your way of living, your safety is destroying everything. And I am so glad I came across this video on TikTok from this lady in Chicago. She's addressing the city council. And man, let me tell you, she's going all out. You don't hang no sign about black people hating no on immigrants because black people ain't got no reason to hate on no immigrants. Oh no, but the immigrants got we no reason to hate on us. We everything y'all are in there, son. Let me tell you something. You get them signs down. Anytime that Arnold and Lawson and just Silverstein can, and what's that other? Cejo Lopez. sit up here and Lopez. talk about how they should get a hate crime bill because swatch sticks was in Ziploc bags in that community. They hung this in our community. We want it off the poles. We want that to be the beginning of a hate crime. And that organization, which is a white liberal organization, like in the words of Malcolm X, who told us what? That the white liberal is the worst enemy yes. to the black, black man. Yes. And it to is the black coming up in here, acting like y'all representing some social justice. Say that. But social. all along, Say all that. you're doing is trying to use black people Say to that. find a reason to make some money. Say Let that. me tell y'all something over there. I am so glad that she did this and she just going in. She's hammering those people and 
stating facts after facts after facts. And I want to see more people standing up, more people speaking up, because you know, it takes a lot of courage to speak up. If you are in one of those sanctuary cities, it takes a lot of courage to speak up and go against the democratic plantation, the democratic mind, because you know, if you go against them, they try to come after you, like Tosigaba, Donald Trump, RFK Jr., but people are waking up, people are getting tired of the same BS, people are getting tired of the mind game, or the brainwashing that the democratic plantation and the media and the machine behind the scene have been doing, like Kamala Harris, like she said, you're gonna see this video. You the Democratic Party, do just like mm. R.K. Jr., just do like that Tulsa lady, you better get up out the Democratic Party. Save yourself, save your families, save your dignity, save your jobs, and save your seat. Because if y'all don't, we coming for your seats. We ain't taking this no more. We ain't taking no disrespect from a bunch of people who have broke into the country and now have completely broke the city, have completely broke the country, have completely disgraced the United States of America. America is a disgrace. And for the, oh my God, for the solution, you give us a fake, black, cackling hand of a candidate with a fight president that's talking about he want to put tampons in the boys' bathroom. Anybody do this? The number one function of a president is to be the commander in chief. You tell me anything about a Carmella Harris that looks like she can protect this country after y'all just sat up here and they get her overridden with a bunch of evil. Even the immigrants. Y'all just sat up here and put America's hands in all kind of wars. And you telling me a tampon man that ran from duty don't even know what his rule was. Carmella Harris, who don't know what race she is, gonna protect this country? The devil is a lie. Y'all better get some signs down. Yeah. I know that. Who is Kamala Harris? Do you really think she's someone who will defend this country? You think she has the cojones to be the commander in chief? You think she has the power and the intellect and the, oh man, she has nothing that can say she can be a commander in chief. And somebody said there's been other female that has been president or prime minister in other countries. Yes, they could be leaders, but this one here, Kamala Harris, she has no leadership. She has nothing to be a leader. She inspired no confidence, no fears, nothing. So she cannot be a commander in chief. She cannot be the president because nobody will respect her. None of these other countries respect the current administration. And you think she's become the president, they gonna respect her. We are so close to a nuclear war because of this inept administration. And you think I am going to get up and vote for a Kamala Harris, who's been in the current administration. Yes, I know, find out the real job, but the VP may be real. You know Joe Biden been sleeping for the past four years. He has not done nothing. Who you think is running everything behind the scene? Is the Kamala, the Clinton, the Barack Obama, Vanguard, BlackRock, all those people. So don't give me that crap like the VP has nothing to do with this. Please, for crying out loud. You are part of the administration, so don't give me that. Do not vote for this piece of... Do not vote for the Democratic plantation. Wake up. Some of these cities, some of these states are Democratic run. When you look at it, most of the states Republican. What happens? The big city like Chicago, or in New York, New York City and Albany. In Maryland, Baltimore. Those cities have so many people that they, their vote takes over the whole state. But when you break it down, most of the state is Republican. And then because of these smaller cities, they get this woke, democratic governor who are doing nothing for them. 
and you guys in the inner cities, you are the one that gotta wake up because every time you get a messed up governor, a messed up mayor, you are the one voting for them. You continue repeating your same insane mistake. Wake the F up. And I say again, as an immigrant who came here legally, serving the armed forces, became a citizen, my parents came here legally, became citizen as well, we are all against this illegal immigration. And we cannot compare whatever we went through to the African Americans here that were enslaved. The African Americans do not try to pass a hate crime bill against I illegal immigrants. There's no such thing as a hate crime bill against illegal immigrants. You come here illegally, go back home, deport this mother. F you know, I got no sympathy for this. Because I came here legally and I have been busting my ass on my life here and my family. So there is no sympathy for illegal immigration. Yes, hate me all you want. And you guys who are going to criticize me and tell I'm a sellout. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm a Trumpist. I'm whatever, whatever. I am not a cheapo. You guys are cheap. Wake up because with your sanctuary cities and your welcoming arm to illegal immigration, you are destroying your own way of living, your own way of life. And then you're going to continue doing the same thing and voting for the current administration who has allowed all this to happen. You're going to vote for the same mayor who's allowing this to happen in your city. You're going to vote for the governor who's allowing this to happen in your city. You have no one to blame but yourself, so wake the F up. I said what I said. I'll see you in the next one.